so so Tamil, there's another there's another issue going on that's very proximate to our borders and and of course that is the presence of Russia now they, they are very much entrenched within Syria I'd like you to talk to us about what the presence of the Russian bear right on our border arguably borders actually means for our ability to defend our strategic priorities and assets when it comes to the subject of Syria and possibly even the subject of Lebanon, to go back to what you were saying earlier. Talk to us about Russia's interests there and talk to us about how it helps and hinders our ability to protect our own strategic priorities. Um, well, I think that uh, uh, the outcome of uh, US actions or decisions, letting the Russians to deploy in Syria uh, took place already, I think, I believe eight years ago. Okay. I think it was a mistake. I think it was a big mistake. And uh, the Russians took the advantage. And the moment they are in, you can't kick them out unless they wish to do so. So uh, I believe that uh, as for the time being, at least, we're going to see the Russian in Syria. Uh, they need from their, let's say, strategic uh, 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 point of view, they need uh, uh, the warm seaports uh, in the Mediterranean, the Syrian one. And they have it. They have their own bases there. Uh, they have uh, military airports there, and they can, uh, it's, uh, if they want to, uh, uh, to at least to play some part in the politics in the Eastern Mediterranean, they have all the capabilities to do so. So they are there. And uh, we can't do nothing about it. Uh, am I happy? The answer is no. Uh, but uh, we can do nothing. <laughs> We cannot kick them out, right? It's not uh, our, uh, we don't have the capabilities to do it. So we have to live with it and we have to uh, come to uh, uh, as many agreements as we can with the Russian and with the Russian forces that are deployed there. Okay, the last thing that we need is a confrontation with Russian forces uh, over Syria. So now we are more or less managing it. One time we had a problem there, and, uh, but uh, I believe that, uh, uh, I hope it will never happen again. Um, but uh, I, and I hope that the uh, United States uh, will um, rethink about uh, its foreign policy in the Middle East. Uh, the last administration declaration that the Middle East does not interest him. So uh, I hope that uh, uh, we will see more interest in the Middle East and that might change the balance of power there in the long run.